Working off of our previous MIME idea for the present continuous, now we can use the same idea for the past continuous. The key difference here will be that while the student is doing the MIME, the students in the audience are not able to guess what the person is doing. Rather, you'll have them stop first, then have the group making sentences for the past. So, a student may get a card such as drawing, driving, and cooking. They do their mime of the action and they stop. Only then can we have the rest of the students make their guess using the past continuous tense.